What's up guys, it's Leishi and today I'm here to show you how to set up your JBL Quantum 300 gaming headset. The JBL Quantum 300 headset is the strongest model out of the lower price point headsets in the range without LEDs. It's a fantastic option for a low price point and I think it is a great entry level headset for most gamers. Before I go into it any further, I think we should have a look what comes in the box. Starting off with the quick start guide, there's also some warranty information and booklets in here too. Then you've got your USB to female 3.5mm audio jack converter. This will allow you to connect the headset to your PC. And then you have the headset itself. It is a wired headset and it's wired with a 3.5mm audio input. The JBL Quantum 300 is a great headset for PC gaming with the option to use it on console as well. It supports any console with a 3.5mm headphone jack. However, using it on console means you will lack some features. What I mean by this is that the JBL Quantum 300 headset is still one of the low price point headsets that carries the JBL Quantum surround sound. This feature is available on PC because it is supported by the JBL Quantum engine software. No matter what platform you use it on, it'll still support the JBL Quantum sound signature through its 50mm drivers. The headset is great for long gaming sessions due to their memory foam ear cushions and the cushion on top of the headband too. Not to mention, it's extremely lightweight, weighing in at only 245 grams. It features a directional boom mic that allows you to move it up and down and flick up to mute. It's extremely accessible and you don't need to unplug it if you don't want to use it. You simply just flick it up and it's out of your face and out of the way. Setting up the headset on a console is super easy. As long as you have a controller or a console with a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, it simply just goes straight in and you're ready to go. However, now I'm going to show you how to set it up on PC and how to use the JBL Quantum Engine software. Start off by grabbing your female 3.5 millimeter audio jack to USB converter. Then what you'll want to do is plug in your male end to your female end of the converter and then plug the USB into your PC. So now you'll have a wired connection from your headset into your PC and this will now allow you to use the JBL Quantum Engine software. Now you'll want to open your JBL Quantum Engine software, or if you don't have it, download it from the JBL Quantum website. You'll then see that the JBL Quantum headset has been picked up by the program. This will now allow you to go into the Spatial Audio tab and turn on the JBL Quantum Surround. You can adjust the settings here to give yourself the best surround sound experience for your PC gaming. You also have total control over your equalizer settings, so make sure you have a fiddle around with the JBL Quantum Engine and find the best settings that work for you and your gaming experience. As someone who uses the higher price point headsets in the JBL range, I use the JBL Quantum 1 and the JBL Quantum 800 headsets. I think the JBL Quantum 300 is a very good option for entry level gamers. If you are still wanting a wide connection, this is perfect. You get the converter to use it on PC and it's a straight cable into a controller for console. It gives you an amazing sound quality, even though they're not noise cancelling. The nice over the ear ear cushions, they do block out a lot of noise because you have to remember when you put something on your ear, there is going to be some form of noise cancellation, just not active noise cancellation. They look really sleek. I do like these ones without the LEDs. Even though I'm an RGB fan, I think these look super minimal, super sleek, especially with that chrome ear cup here. Without the LEDs, it just, it looks really nice. I love these. I think they are super comfortable and I think you guys are going to love them too. 